As with other maps that we've already showcased here within Zombies Chronicles, there's nothing too major changed about any of the maps, but there have been some small things added in to correlate with the storyline, but also a couple of Easter eggs here and there that give you a max ammo as well as an Easter egg song, and what some people may think leads to something a little bit bigger upon completing all of them, but we don't know anything about that just yet. But in this one, we're we'll talking about a brand new one that was just found on Ascension. This one is once again another hide and seek Easter egg if you want to put it that way, but it's a lot tougher than some of the other ones. Chino Numa was one that was rather easy that we debuted recently on the channel. Nocturne Toten was a little bit tougher, but still kind of easy. This one, so far, I think is the toughest that you need to do because there's a lot of stuff that is really contingent upon some RNG luck and some real good placement of what we're going to need, that being the Gersh devices. So, first and before we get too far into it, you're going to need to open up Pack-a-Punch because that is one of the next steps, one of the real first steps. So, it's kind of like a prelude for it. So, you're going to want to take the landers and then once you do all that, you get them all charged up, you can launch the rocket and that will open up the Pack-a-Punch area. From here, you're going to end up needing some luck because you're going to need to hit the box either just a few amount of times or a lot depending on how lucky you are because you're going to need to get the Gersh devices out of the box. These are once again the key portions to doing this. So once you end up having the Gersh devices, once again hopefully it takes a little bit of time for you and doesn't take the entire game, you're going to need to find three Samantha dolls hidden around the map that will initiate this hide and seek easter egg. One of which once again being in the Pack-a-Punch room and this one is probably one of the toughest to do because it's down below the catwalk that you walk on and there's a little bit of a ledge that you can throw the Gersh device on, but once you do that, if you get it right, it will suck the Samantha doll into the Gersh device, but if you miss, you're going to need to try again, and you're going to end up losing one of those Gersh devices. But now, assuming you end up getting that one right, well then you're ready to move on to the next location, which is right by the Wonder Fizz, right by where the lander is with Widow's Wine, and it's right on that flat plateau there. You want to take a look at where the two walls meet, and if you look up by some of the radiator units, there is another one up on top of there as well, and this one is another rather tricky placement with the Gersh device too, because you're going to need to jump throw this, but you have to time it almost perfectly for whenever the Gersh device dips down in your HUD, whenever you're ready to throw that extension, that's when you want to jump. So once it dips out of your view for that split second, choose to jump then and you should be able to get it up on the ledge. It'll suck it in again and then you're ready to move on to the third one. The third and final Samantha doll placement is right above Stamina Up. There's that cross beam that goes and connects to the top of the building and there's one right on top of that cross beam. So what you can do is you can try and throw the Gersh device in between the two radiator units on top of the roof and this should then land on the shelf right there and suck it in as well. So this is probably the easiest of the three but still does take a little bit of maybe skill or luck depending on which one you want to use now once you've done this this then is ready for the hide and seek easter egg to which you need to find the initial doll to activate it this is going to be in the little trash pile right next to the pack a punch and where the rocket was down on that little plateau once again where if you wanted to look up you could see the shadow man this is right around where you need to be and it's going to be once again in that little grass collection of mud dirt and all that good stuff once you locate it you just need to interact with it by pressing square or perhaps whenever you see this on xbox one on x and this will then initiate the hide and seek easter egg to which there are five locations once again denoted by audio cues and the little turnstile lullaby theme indicating hot or cold you just need to find those and they're all relatively on the easy side side to find, especially considering what you've already had to do just to get this far. The first of which is right in the courtyard before you enter in to turn on the power and right before where the Widow's Wine Lander is, right in that courtyard on top of some of the scrap, there will be one. Another two locations that are honestly almost right next to each other are right by the Lander past Stamina Up. There's going to be some scrap once again here right in front of that, to which there are two spawns. One is on the bottom and one spawns on top of the scrap. Sometimes they are consecutive, sometimes they are not, but those are two of the five placements. One is right in the scaffolding above Stamina Up. Once again, there's going to be one hanging upside down. And then the fifth and final location is that of right next to the Wonder Fizz on one of the canisters just outside of spawn. So those are five locations here for the Samantha's dolls. And once you end up shooting them or knifing them, perhaps if you end up getting that chance, they'll end up disappearing and going back to the initial start location back in that dirt, mud, trash pile, whatever you want to call it, just outside of the Pack-a-Punch room. And there, all you have to do once you've done this all is interact with it. Once again, a skull will come out, push the doll up, 
pull it back down into the ground and a max ammo will show and you'll be greeted with an easter egg song as well. So that said, that is the Ascension Hide and Seek Easter Egg with the Samantha's Dolls. It really does look like we're gonna be seeing a one on every single map. There's one that is going to be on Moon. Origins was just discovered recently, I believe, as well. So we got a lot of cool stuff here with this and perhaps this leads then ultimately to something else entirely, which by the time this goes up, I think my video for it has already happened. Maybe it gives us the M1911. Who knows? That's just a crazy theory, but maybe there's something connected here with this overall, but I guess we'll see in time once all of these are found. But that said, out of the way, hopefully you guys enjoyed, hopefully this helped you out get a max ammo and also an Easter egg song here with this, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below, drop your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Do you think this one was a little bit tougher than the others, or do you think it's not necessarily all that hard to obtain? Whatever it may be, feel free to drop it, but if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay updated with everything we have here regarding Zombies Chronicles, Zombies in general, Black Ops 3 Multiplayer, Call of Duty World War 2, Modern Warfare Mastered, all that good stuff, we got you covered here up on the channel. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that is the best place to get kicked me outside of YouTube and practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said, now the way, hope you guys have a fantastic day. My name is Nicola Espresso. Take care and peace.